Today is one of the first days of September and I have some really exciting news for me. For the first time in my YouTube career, I've made close to $9,000 just from YouTube. And one of the reasons is last October, I decided to build a YouTube business. Building a YouTube business is radically different than building a YouTube channel. And this is one of the things, because a part of my YouTube business, there's a strategy, there's a technique, there's a way that we're doing it. And I started this, I almost started with a personal finance channel last October, but I killed it because I got some additional training. And the additional training has made a world of difference. This YouTube channel conceivably could be doing $30,000 per month in AdSense revenue next year, like January, February. Just depends on how September, October, and November go. But I'm currently on a track to do another six or 7,000 next month. And this is really exciting for me because on this channel, I never really thought of AdSense. You know, it was just kind of like an afterthought because I was making so much money selling courses. But now my eyes have been open because I'm on a different plan. So I'm gonna create this YouTube business. So what I've did with my holding company, Disrupt Asset Holdings, it now owns Savage Consulting Services and Cameron Media Arts. The Savage Consulting Services is going to get the course money and consulting money. And Cameron Media Arts is gonna get the YouTube money. And what I'm gonna do is push the YouTube money up and that's gonna become my salary. I'm gonna have pay stubs. What? I'm gonna have some pay stubs. Which would make some things easier because I would be a legitimate employee of my company with ADP pay stubs. I'm probably gonna set that up in October. Uh, one of the things that is becoming really intriguing as I go on this YouTube thing, because I'm watching more YouTube than I watch regular television, because regular television doesn't pay me anything. But YouTube, I mean, because the it was almost $6,000 to Savage Finance. And what happened last month, last month this channel made 3,700, but I was working, I was consistently putting content, I was doing live streams. I have to really work this channel to get to three to $4,000 on AdSense. But I don't have to do that over at Savage Finance. I have put less videos on Savage Finance than I did on this channel, and I made twice the money plus two and a half times as much more money because this is the thing. When you're building your YouTube videos, your, your YouTube business, you need a channel that has growth. Now, part of the mix for the $9,000 was Savage Finance, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, and I reactivated the original disruptive mail. And, you know, I'm just really transferring content from the old, from the, the secondary disruptive mail, because I'm gonna kill that. And then I'm gonna move it all to disruptive mail. I should be to getting to doing new content on the new disruptive mail. And it's gonna be different content. It's gonna be more educational. It's gonna be more masculine content. But I'm really excited because this is crazy. Because I'm probably gonna be making $360,000 to $400,000 a year just from AdSense. And that money is gonna come out the company and be taxed and exposed to taxation while all of the course money is gonna go buy real estate. I'm like really, you know, excited. And one of the reasons I'm sharing this with you guys is you guys need to get on YouTube. I feel YouTube has another 10 years to grow. I did my first 11 years. I feel that YouTube's gonna grow for another 10 years. There's plenty of opportunity. There's plenty of things to do. There's like, there's so much because one of the things, 
and I've got my distractors who are on my YouTube channels. It's really interesting. Like before last October, before I made a commitment to YouTube, I really didn't care. You know, I would throw up a channel and it didn't work out. I would stop posting content and move on because I had this channel and this channel was doing the heavy lifting. This channel was making all of the money. So I really didn't care. But last October, I, I was introduced to this YouTube mastermind and I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and invest in that. And it has made a world of difference. It has made a tremendous difference because I am building savage finance in stages. And one of the things is the first stage was just to get it going and to get some evergreen content up. And then the second stage, like last month was second stage. We had, I got 7,200 subscribers last month and I'm on track to getting 200 to 300 subscribers. So there's a lot of fresh blood coming into Savage Finance. And what I'm gonna do is wake up these other channels because I'm doing digital money, which is how to make money online. It's kind of moved a little bit from, you know, just doing YouTube. And then there is the dominant male that's monetized. They did like 250 bucks this month. Then there's Savage Finance. You know what that's about. There's the hustlers Kung Fu. You know what that's about. And there's the mindset coach. And essentially the two channels that are not monetized, I'm growing them slowly for a reason, because one of the things is YouTube is very peculiar. You can put a video up and like six months later, it could take off. And what I want to do is get in the habit because I'm getting in the habit of consistently because I don't even have regular posting days. I just throw up a video on digital money and I throw up a video on the mindset coach. But I'm going to start at least posting once a week and then I'm going to go to twice a week. I'm, I'm, I'm building this thing because I mean, it's kind of crazy when you can think about it that YouTube can make because like this month we're kind of getting back in stride because you know for a while i was doing like 100k a month and with um savage finance that was responsible for six thousand dollars in adsense fifty thousand dollars in course sales so that was fifty six thousand dollars right there and then there was another 20 from this channel so that's 76 and then the consulting we were very close to 100K a month. So I almost made the money back. Well, I made the money back that I spent on the Porsche in like a month. And this is why it is so exciting because if you've noticed, the content on this channel has changed. This channel is gonna become a more of a social, political, economic channel. Because I've tried it, I've thrown all kinds of stuff up here, like you know, starting businesses and stuff. And, it, it don't work over here, but if I, cause like um, the, the new black male got a lot of love for that video. I have a video that my editors are putting together. And if you notice, I'm dressed a little differently cause I'm reconfigurating my content. I'm reconstituting my content because I'm going to show you how to do it. And if you go ahead to the digital money, I have access to a payment plan for my YouTube course because I'm, I'm building it out because I got a lot of training and stuff that I'll be doing this month. And also for those of you who want to be part of the corporate toolbox, the first bit of training was uploaded today and I'm probably going to upload training every other day. I don't know because I'm going to probably upload three to maybe five pieces of training and do a live webinar. So if you want to get on that, September is the month to get up on that because we're going to be doing big things because one of the things I want to do is create more of me. And this is one of the reasons I'm doing this video. I want to create more of me, more people with YouTube channels, more people with podcasts. Cause see, you know, the first thing that the uninitiated will say is there's too many YouTube channels already. If the easy money's gone, not necessarily. See, there is like, there is tons and tons of personal finance channels, but there was not a Glendon Cameron Savage finance channel. 
So do not be discouraged because you haven't put your hat in the ring yet. You're not filling up your dance card. You're not making content. You're not producing this sort of stuff. And also running a YouTube business, because this is one of the things I'm running a YouTube business and I get these comments, these YouTubers, they're doing it for the views. They're trying to get that YouTube money. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm just supposed to put up videos and not try to make money. What kind of craziness is that? See, there are so many people who are predicated on trying to secure the bag with the least amount of effort possible. That's an issue. Like right now, uh, I, I'll be talking on digital money about my process because here's the thing. When you start multiple YouTube channels, your chances of hit it's the same thing I did with urban pack rat. I had urbanpackrat.com. I had passionatefriday.com. I had businesscreditmentor.com. And essentially with these five YouTube channels, cause this channel is starting to do something a little funky cause I was in my analytics and I saw people were watching some older videos. I got comments from some older videos. So YouTube is starting to push this new content. So conceivably this channel could get up to $10,000 a month in AdSense by February, possibly if things keep going the way they're going. And I want you to think about this. I work from home. I do have a few employees, but I've never met them. <laughs> I work from home. I create my own schedule. I do what I want when I want. This is a great life and I want, I welcome you to join in the beginning. Like this process started last October and I put up a channel and when I took the YouTube training, I realized I did a lot of stuff wrong, a lot of stuff wrong. So I killed that channel and this brought out one of the haters. It's like, Oh, you, you put up these huge channels, then you kill them. I have no problem euthanizing something that ain't working. And I knew the way that I built that channel, it wasn't going to work. But when I came up with Savage Finance, the sat, it's a jungle and the whole intent is not to talk about 401k and Roth RAs. It's to talk about entrepreneurship, talk about becoming a corporate citizen, to talk about money management, to talk about get your cash up. It's a very different personal finance channel. I posted a screenshot that you saw earlier of what I made. And everybody in my YouTube Facebook group was freaking out. They was like, what kind of CPM do you have? This is the stuff I learned in the YouTube training. I mean, conceivably I can get Savage Finance up to like literally $30,000 per month by January, the way that things are going. And then I can get it to maybe 50,000 in a year, $50,000 a month, simply for providing content. I want you to think about that. I really want you to think about that. These are the times that we live in. These are the opportunities that are available. I am 53 years old. I don't look 53, nor do I act 53 because I'm about to put my foot up in it, in this YouTube business, because this is just the second phase. I haven't gotten to the third phase. I haven't gotten to the fourth phase. So there's some more work to be done to grow this channel and to get people watching the content. And one of the things I've learned with the other disruptive mail that I don't really post, I don't, I haven't posted on there in weeks and the daily views remain consistent because of the content that's there. And I'm going to create a similar level of content on a new disruptive mail. But I'm, I'm telling you, if you do not, if you have a business and you don't have a YouTube channel, you're missing opportunities. You're missing opportunities. I don't care if you're an insurance agent. Let me go ahead and tell you how YouTube can help you make more money. I had a friend and we were having a discussion about products and stuff. And I said something that really resonated with me. I feel like if I don't tell them I have it, they can't buy it. I want you to remember that. If they don't know about it, they can't buy it. I've literally had virtually everything. I like I had a $50,000 per month consulting business, uh, $50,000 per client. I had four clients. It was 200 K a month. 
I didn't like how I set that up. Now, Savage Finance Consulting is different. It is not as onerous, I'm not doing as much, nor is the price points that high. But I'm gonna build out Savage Finance Consulting, and I'm gonna build out the online courses for you disruptive mail people. There will be some new training for disruptive mail. It's gonna be called a masculine male, and it's gonna be talking about things that you need to do to become a masculine male, because I'm here to tell you, what's going on right now is crazy. And if you go ahead and develop yourself and build yourself and make yourself a masculine dominant male, the things you can have in your life are amazing. There really are. And one of the things I want you guys to understand is I'm doing these videos, I'm showing you screenshots to show you what's possible, what is obtainable, what you can do if you work. Because honestly, I'm getting to the point because with my YouTube business and running five channels, there's no way that I could do the editing for all five channels. So I've got three editors that do six to eight videos per week. And I'm getting ready to start really, you know, I might go ahead and put up another one, which would put me at about 10 videos a week. So my work week is nothing like it used to look like. Because I can sit down and come up with a video concept and shoot it very, very quickly. It's the editing, you know, because let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to have seven videos edited this week. And if we were to go ahead and say five hours of real, because <clears throat> I have a few videos here on YouTube on this channel that I sat down and I really edited them well. And those videos did well. You know, I moved around the room. I, I did all kinds of stuff. I put all types of, and that took hours. That took me about eight to 12 hours a piece to edit those videos. And now I'm farming that out. And I am the, cause you know, since I'm about to get a pay stub, <laughs> first time I've had a job in 20 years, I'm going to put myself on as the creative director. Cause that's what I do. I am the creative. I direct the creative. And that's how I see my role in my YouTube company. I don't see myself as, cause you know, I was really looking at getting this new MacBook, iMac, the MacBook Pro, the, well, the Mac Pro, the one in the space gray, I may get it. And I was looking at all the specs and stuff. And I have a four year old iMac right there, which edits videos just fine. And I'm just sitting there like, is that really a want or a need? And do I really need all that processing power to edit videos? Because uh, the one that I had specced out was about 10,000 all you know, with taxes, 11,000. And I'm like, do I really need that? Cause that's kind of where I'm at with the business because I'm getting ready to hire two virtual assistants for the YouTube business. Cause they're going to be doing outreach. They're going to be contacting people five days a week, contacting people, setting up collabs, setting up promos. And that's going to be the third phase of the YouTube business because I see opportunity here. I see massive, massive opportunity here. And one of the things we're getting ready to do in the YouTube mastermind is they're going to be talking about ways to make money. We had a training that was talking about reaching out to brands and bringing them in. And that's going to be another component of Savage Finance because when Savage Finance gets to about 30, 40,000 subscribers, I'm going to start reaching out to brands, the appropriate brands for the channel. And that's going to be another revenue stream. I am like so excited. You just don't understand because you know, I've never been this hyped about AdSense before, but I've never met because typically it would have taken me before my AdSense went up, it would have taken me almost eight to 10 months to make what I made this month. But I have a system, I have a process, I have a team. And you know, this is fantastical because if I knew what I know now in 2009, I would have created 10 YouTube channels. Yep, I would have, if I knew what I know now because there, there's so many people and I got a few haters who are like preoccupied 
with my YouTube channels because they can't figure out how to do this. So I'm about to tell you how to do it. First thing you do is you go on YouTube and you research everyone in your niche. You want to know who the top dog is. You want to know who the up and comers is and you start to study them and see what they're doing. Like I have a video on Savage Finance, the, the PayPal video that's at like almost 80,000 views in like two weeks. I found that through my YouTube research. I'm telling you, there's so many ways to create content, to borrow content. To, I, I, you know, it's been last video on this channel that I had that pop like that was the rich people of Atlanta and the rich people of Atlanta video is going to come back, but it's going to be very different. Um, there's so many things that I want to do, but I urge you to start a YouTube business and to think channels, not a channel. Cause see, when you think, look, cause let me go ahead and tell you, like, I knew I wanted to do multiple channels and I knew that I was going to have to get editors. It's like going to the gym in October. I was benching 135. Here it is September. I'm benching 315. That's the progression. You, what you start off with, that is not where you're going to end up. And next September, I'm going to be benching 500. I'm here to tell you that YouTube is such an amazing opportunity. And I'm kind of flirting around with creating a podcast, but I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Because see, this is one of the things you got to do. When you start your YouTube channel, you really got to think about your strategy. You got to think about your topic. You got to think about your niche. And that's why Savage Finance, because I put up a YouTube channel that really wasn't working. And I learned from that and I took those lessons. I learned from that and I applied them to Savage Finance with a better game plan. Much, much better, better game plan. Because like talk about there's this book that's called um, I think it's called tribal. I, I can see it, but essentially Savage Finance has its own language, financial device. That's a Savage Finance euphemism. So I'm, I'm going to do this for the other channels. It's going to take me some time, but you know, I, I got the time. I can wait and study, build these channels and work on it because the men's space is dominated by how to get women, but it's not dominated about how to be a man. And I know that I'm a mentor, a big brother to many of you guys, and I'm about to do a better job of that because there's so many things I know that I haven't put out that have nothing to do with women. You know, there, there's so many things. And like, this is one of the things I'm doing with the mindset coach. The mindset coach is going to get into personal development. You know, and once again, I'm, you know, get them started, get them going, get them rolling. But I got time and I'm having fun. That's the key. I am having fun. I'm not working like a maniac anymore. I'm not doing that because you know, those months I was doing like six figures. I was working for that money. I was working for that money. And also I am glad I feel fortunate to have an opportunity to work from home and make six figures per month. That's crazy. When 90% of America doesn't make six figures per year. So let me go ahead and tell you what's coming. You know, I got the Porsche and I remember when I bought the Porsche, the salesman says, these cars are addictive. So be careful. I already got my next Porsche planned. I'm going to order it brand new. It's going to be charcoal gray with that red interior. And it's going to be the turbo model all wheel drive. I might get that bad boy for Christmas. I might get it for Christmas because, and I'm also going to possibly, possibly pull my first, the trigger on my first rental property this year, but it's on the developmental map for 2000, 2021. So we will see, we will see. Cause I, there are so many things that I'm going to do on Savage Finance. Like I'm going to chart my real estate journey. That content hasn't even started because here's one of the things 
I'm not going to tell you about some stuff I'm not doing. I don't own any real estate, so I'm not going to pretend that I own real estate and be talking about real estate and how to buy real estate. I will show you when I do it and I will show you how I would do it. And also this kind of goes back into the corporate citizen. I will be my own bank. I will not have to get loans. It's going to be a different financial channel, a different, and you, you get to see me do it. You get to see me, you get to look over my shoulder as I do this stuff. This is why I'm talking about building a YouTube business. Cause you know, this is my, I've, I actually have a YouTube business, which is another revenue stream. I'm telling you, and who's not, who's to say what's going to happen the end of October. Cause I have a list of things I want to accomplish this month. And then October, cause essentially this is what I do. Toward the end of the month, I sit down and I write out what my expectations are for the upcoming month. And like August, I, I checked off virtually everything. And my income goal for August was 50,000. I almost doubled it. So I crunk up the income goal. I crunk up a lot of stuff and with the outreach and the talking to people and, you know, I'm really, really excited. I am very, very excited. And also I got a new workout. I'm getting on the treadmill instead of one long session of 50 minutes to an hour, I'm doing three to four 15 minute sessions per day. And this gets me hyped. This really speeds up my metabolism. So it, it's, it's awesome. And then I got a new ab program. And then tomorrow I'm going to hit the weights. I'm going to, cause the first thing is walking on the treadmill. When you haven't walked on a treadmill in a while, you have to acclimate to that. So I'm doing this. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming. I'm telling you, but I just wanted to scream at y'all about my YouTube business, what I'm doing, how, what it looks like. And man, it's going to be good. And also if you want to start a YouTube channel, go over to digital money and you can get into a payment plan for the YouTube course on, um, you can also get into a payment plan for the corporate citizen. So I got you because I'm telling you, we're going to do big and great things with the corporate citizen because the YouTube business is now part of one, it's one of my companies. I have Savage Consulting Services, LLC. That's an operating company. Then I have Cameron Media Arts, LLC, another operating company. And then possibly once I get close to buying a property, I'm going to create a property management company, which I'm going to hire staff to run for me. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming. So if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube, the Cameron Network, which is the mindset coach, digital money, dominant male, hustlers, Kung Fu and savage finance. That is the Cameron Network. I want you to think about this. You could create your own network with programming here on YouTube. I want you to think about that. That's amazing. So all links below to everything you need to get, except for you need to go to digital money to get into the YouTube course. Subscribe to all five channels. It's going to be well worth your subscription because I'm about to start cooking with gas. So I'll see you guys later.